and we are back but this time with a mission straight from the start i recall from the last episode that there is an erd tree avatar i did go and ch check its name on top of this massive hill up by that i mean jeez didn't properly look at it last time but fair play up on top of on top up on top of this hill here um so let's go and see what that's made of he seems docile he seems like he's just chilling there not a care in the world hmm i don't think he's gonna appreciate me coming over oh okay can't sneak a sneak up on this one <laughs> Doable damage though. Okay. Nice. Oh fuck. Okay, big slam attack. Not appreciative. Okay. Oh. Okay, he packs a bit of a punch. Okay, badly done. Ow. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's not a great start, but... Let's give him another another few goes, and I'm sure we'll do a little bit better. Oh, new attack. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, you know. Damn it. Okay. Okay, time to run, time to run, 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 run. Keep on running, keep running, keep on running. <laughs> the only way I've managed to work out how to deal with that attack. Oh, that was greedy. Way too greedy. Ah. Oh. Well, that is annoying, but shows that this fight is very, very doable. I think next next time we should have we should have him. Come on. One more. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I got fucking flung at the same time. And I died at the same time. But I got him. So that's... Oh, okay. I've actually heard of the bubble tip before. Okay. That could be an interesting item to actually look at. But let's at least get back there and retrieve what we actually just won. Get those runes and see what we can do with that. But we got there in the end. <laughs> well, I got there in the end. No more Tree Sentinel. Nice. Okay, so it appears we've got a couple of them. Well, Crimson Crystal Tear. Restores half of the total HP 
in mixed physic. Oh, okay. So these are items that you need to put into the physic flask. Okay. So maybe that's something that we can try out this episode. Crimson burst. Okay. Steadily, re steadily restores HP for a time. Tempor temporarily boosts faith. The faith not. And significantly negates damage in mixed physic. Okay. Well, that could be interesting. It would be interesting to try out any of them, to be fair. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Right. The Erd Tree has been a nice little warm-up for this episode. But now we're on to the main bit. Let's go and see Market again. So there's a fair bit more to do in Weeping Peninsula. And I'm sure we can pop back there probably a little bit later down the line. But... I'll be wanting to do this fight again for a little while, so let's give it a go. There you are. On to stage two. Nice bleed proc there. Come on. Just missed the dodge there. Not bad, the first one back. Let's give it another go. No. Oh, fuck. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how much health does he have? Come on! There we fucking go. Margaret is <laughs> finally down. Holy shit. Not gonna lie, when it was on basically 1 HP, shat myself a little bit because. I couldn't throw from there, Jesus Christ. But from that, we get a new talisman pouch and we can progress onwards. But that also means we've got a couple items which we were using, which can pop back on because now we can, we have a second talisman. So something like Radagon Sword Seal or something like, I can't remember which of the other one we, tried out something else can go on so i'll have a little think about that see what we can see what i can find see what we can work with and i'll come back to you stormville castle huh looks like a pretty cool place not gonna lie this bit of the game is a very 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 pretty bit kind of I keep on forgetting to sort of take a step back and just actually look at what's in front of me. But this is very cool. Right, let's see what's got in store. This feels like a place to get ambushed. Oh, yes. It is, that's why. Nice. Well, for the endings of most of these episodes, I'll try and look for somewhere kind of cinematic. I think this place fits the bill. We've got Stormvale Castle towering up to the right, and I don't even know where that place over there is, but looks pretty cool. I'm sure we'll find out in due course. As for today's episode, I probably will leave it there. Got a fair bit done. Beaten Margit, beaten the Erdtree Avatar. The two good bosses to get down, happy with that. Also beating Margit means we're um, continuing on with the main story. Should be interesting. This is this is further than however, like, however far I got in the, in my last playthrough. 
because literally stopped just after Margit. So everything from now onwards is new for me. Next episode, I probably will actually look to change my weapon. I think I spoke about it a couple episodes ago that I do want to try out new weapons through throughout this, um, this series, throughout the game, to be fair. I want to experience as much of it as I possibly can. So we'll probably be putting the Uchi away and looking for another, uh, another weapon to use. So I'll have a little look around and see what I have access to at the moment and what I can grab. Whether that be going and fighting a boss first and going and getting from them, or just picking it up from somewhere. I'll have a little look around. But next time, let's see what, what Stormvale Castle has in store for us.